Chris here. I want to bring you guys uh, a Digibyte chart. So if you like what we do here, thumbs up, subscribe. Appreciate it, guys. And uh, let's take a look at Digibyte. So we're looking at Digibyte, and we're looking at it on the four hour right now. And what I want to point out to you guys is the higher highs and the higher lows that have been taking place. So when we started this run, you can see we came up here. Then we came back down right there. Then we came back up. We came down, went back up. We came back down. We we're still even with this one, so they're still intact here for the most part, really close down to the cents. Then we made another little run up here. We had a lower high from right here, but we had a higher low. Then we had a higher high, so we we're reversing the trend. And now we're going to see if we can hold this, guys, and have a higher low from us coming down here. So we almost had that little Harami top right there. But we are up above the 50 moving average. We're above the 20 EMA and the 10 EMA. So that's a really good sign. You can see we're wicking down to them. So keep that in mind and also take a look at that volume. We will really want to pay close attention to that. And then let's check our retracement just so you guys can see here. So when we've been seeing these retracements, they've typically, in the four hour at least, that one went down and we were having closes around the 618. So you can see how that came down. We wicked down through it, but we closed up above it. So keep that in mind. And now we're going to do it for this one so we could see maybe a potential landing where this one could be. So what we're going to do is pull our fib off here, just like that. So a potential area here that we could drop down to is the 618. As a retracement that would still hold our higher lows, which would be a good thing, and that'd be around three cents right there, three four three on the six one eight. And remember, guys, it's extremely bullish if we were to hold this and we closed and we only wicked down through the two three six and then made another move up. That could be really bullish, and then we come up in here. So let's keep an eye on Digibyte. This is a good one, and also you can see on the RSI. Right there, there's our line. So we're going to try to hold that trend. We've been having higher highs and higher lows. Say that was the low there. We'll see what happens. Now we need to have a higher high. So keep that in mind, guys. I just want to bring this to you on the four hour is what I was looking at. And you can see we're getting that slight little bounce right off there. The RSI is at 63. Let's check the Bollinger Bands quick. Second, let me get the fib off here. If you guys are going out tonight, just please be safe. Have fun. All right. So we are at the top of the Bollinger Bands here, so most likely we're going to have that little bit of a pullback. See what happens, though, guys, because a lot of times, see up here when we wick through, and then we had that dump, and then once you get to the bottom of these bands, you have another run. And we got to the top, got pushed back down a little bit. We're up through, so obviously you wouldn't want to buy at this point right here. You'd want to wait just to see if we do have some type of retracement, maybe down to the middle band. But when it opens up like that, you see how it got wide? That's after a good run. There's guys taking profits here. So it went from 3.36 cents up to 3 seven nine so that's a nice little move there guys so keep that in mind wanted to bring this to you let's check the macd quick see what that's looking like and remember guys it's all on the four hours four hour chart get rid of that you guys tell me what you think about digibyte if you think it's a good one down in the comments leave it down there if it's something that you're holding or just looking at so MACD right here, so you can see we're up above the signal line, but we are having a little bit, you can see where we had that sell-off, a little bit of bearish divergence there. So if we draw a trend line off top of the histogram, that's starting to go down a little bit. So we'll see if it stays in this or if we're going to break out through that and keep moving upwards. But keep your eye on that, guys. Keep your eye on these supports here in terms of the EMAs. we got the 10 and the 20 right there, and we had the 10 crossover. So that was obviously a good thing, but we've just been kind of moving down and sideways right now. Keep an eye on it, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. God bless each and every one of you, and have an amazing night.